The Palm Pre Plus is an updated model from the original Pre that came out for Sprint last year, as it now has 16 gigabytes of internal memory and 512 megabytes of RAM. Other than that, it remains mostly unchanged. We like the smooth and curved design of the phone as it fits comfortably in the hand, though the plastic construction does feel a bit cheap. The 3.1 inch display has a resolution of 320 by 480, which fits the phone nicely, but images and text aren't as sharp as on other devices with higher resolution screens. The QWERTY keyboard is still on the small side, but we were able to use it without too many spelling errors. The buttons are a bit larger than the ones on the Pixie, but don't provide as much feedback when pressed. Still, if you have large hands, you would probably be more comfortable with a bigger keyboard like on the Motorola Droid. The WebOS software is what makes the device stand out, though it hasn't been updated much since the Sprint model last year. Located on the bottom are icons for the dial pad, email, contacts, and calendar. Pressing on one of those would bring the application up to full screen. You can then use gesture based to move between them, as well as moving them around on the home screen. Since the Pre Plus has twice the amount of RAM as the original model, you can have about 30 to 40 cards open on the home screen at once. When going into the main menu, there are three screens they can move through where your other applications and settings are available. These include the music player, photo gallery, instant messaging, and the HTML web browser, which does support multi-touch pinch and zoom. Being that this is a Verizon phone, it comes with their VZ Navigator program, which is used for GPS guided directions, though it costs you $10 per month. There is also an option to use the device as a 3G mobile hotspot, similar to a MiFi, but this will run you $40 a month extra and allows up to five devices to be connected to it at once. Both the call quality and signal reception were good, with voices on our end sounding clear, though they weren't as natural sounding as when using the Motorola Droid. But people that we called said that we sounded nearly identical on their end when using both phones. The included battery was able to provide up to five hours of talk time on a full charge but under normal mixed usage with some talk, web, email, and other apps expect to charge it every night. Overall, the device is simple to use, which a smartphone should be, yet functional enough to perform a wide variety of tasks, though we found ourselves wishing it had more apps to download. Please visit phoneArena.com for our full review of the Verizon Wireless Palm Pre Plus, including pictures and 360-degree viewing angles.